Hello, good evening to you. Athletes and spectators braved the rain this evening for the spectacular opening ceremony of the 2024 Paris Olympics. For the first time ever, it didn't take place in a stadium, but on the River Seine. 34 Scottish athletes were on the Team GB boat. Our sports news correspondent, Chris McLaughlin, sent this report from the French capital. Well, it's taken nearly 40 years of campaigning, but today Scotland's precious flow country has been awarded world heritage status. The 2,000 square kilometres of wetland in Caithness and Sutherland is one of the most intact and extensive blanket bog systems in the world and home to many rare and endangered birds and insects. Ailey Davis has this report. A body has been found in the search for a missing hillwalker in the Highlands. Formal identification has yet to take place. Plans to reveal which new hospitals, surgeries and treatment centres due to be built in Scotland have been delayed. At least... A menopause specialist says more support is needed in the workplace when it comes to understanding the issues women are facing. A woman from Aberdeen says the way she was treated at work over her menopausal symptoms made her feel suicidal. Now, a new study involving Scottish researchers will look at how things can be improved. Fiona Stalker reports. Scotland has won the World Schools Debating Championships in the annual event. Uh, all your weather now, Christopher. Hi, Anne. Lovely. Thank you, Chris. And that is all we have for you from everyone here on The Late Team. Have a lovely weekend. Good night.